Hello everyone, welcome to Epic Files tutorial video on item capability. I'm Yasmin, and today I'm gonna show you how to create your own data pack in Epic Files new editor. First of all, what are item capabilities? Item capabilities are a dataset that can be used to extend attributes and determine the tag animations for items in Minecraft. You may be confused between weapon type and item capability. The difference between them is weapon type is a higher concept that could group multiple items, whereas item capability is only capable of one item. Okay, let's get started now. Drag and drop data pack we made in the previous tutorial. It will import everything inside it. Add a new line to the left grid, and select the item you want. Select item type, which you parse whether the item is a weapon or armor. Then, add attributes you'd like to apply to the armor. Next, selecting weapon as an item type requires more elements. Unlike armor, you should give a style that indicates which style the attributes will be applied to. If you remember my previous video, you know that I gave one-handed and two-handed styles for Boken, so we should define attributes for one-handed and two-handed styles, or you can define common style to make it applied as the default style. Weapon type is what we created in the previous video, so I'm going to select Boken. If you haven't watched my previous video yet, check out the pinned video in the card below. Next, you can create a collider that is exclusive to the item, or you can leave it empty to use the weapon type's collider. Next, you can give a trail effect to the weapon. Define the color of the trail first, it can have HRGB value which is between 0 to 255. Next, define the start and end position, which refers to the coordinates of a stick that draws a trail. The start position should be nearer to the hand than the end position. Next, define the lifetime, which refers to how many ticks the trail will be alive in the world. Define the interpolation, which refers to how many interpolated points will be created between previous and current animation. So it's better to give a larger number for animations with a large movement. But be careful, giving a too large number of loot cows for performance. Lastly, there are texture paths and particle type with default values. Those will be used in most cases. If you have your own texture for a trail particle, specify the location of the texture. If you're a mode developer and can understand how particles are registered, you can give your own particle type with your custom rendering code. You can see the result of the trail effect in the previous screen below. Just so you know, the trail is only visible for animation with trail information. Now we get data effect for Vulcan now. Put it under both resource pack and data effect folder. Let's see if it works. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helped create your own data pack. 